it's me your girl Luna um yeah we're doing another Sims up video because as I said in the last one um <laughs> someone was gonna have a baby very soon I'm not talking about you Missy oh 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 now um I didn't record when the baby was made you can you can already see the baby in the corner um but as I said in the last episode, I I was like a couple hours away till Alex and Eden got their baby. And then when they got their baby, I was going to make a new sim. Now of course, um, I didn't film when the baby came. Um, I'm going to tell you this, I didn't change any of her design, so all this is genetically coded with these two shitters. So, I would like to introduce you to Daniela. This is Daniela Dixon. And, um, I was, as I said in the last episode, I was going to give her, like, a, like, a sort of, like, mythical name. Some sort of, like, legend name. But when I saw Daniela as a suggestion, I was just like, Danny. I will have a Danny. And I just came obsessed with that. I was just like, you know what? That kind of fits in. That kind of fits with the other two in a way. Because they're all Dixons. <laughs> so, Daniela, I like that name. I really do. So, this is Daniela Dixon. The daughter. The daughter to... E to no, not easy me. That's a whole different character to Alex and Eden. So we have little Daniela here. I can't wait to see her grow up because she is adorable. Um, yeah, she's really cute. We have her daddy, um, Eden, in the house at the moment, just like, I don't know what he's doing, he's just here. But yeah, we have another baby in town. And of course, Luna, tomorrow, is gonna give up birth to her other baby, to her, to her new baby. So that means Isaac is gonna have a sibling. I can't wait to see what the sib, what gender the sibling is gonna be. Cause as you guys know, I don't really customize the children unless I feel like I need to. But when they're in their baby forms, there is much you can customize with. Sure, you can change the what they're wearing, but the hair and eyes is very restrictive selection here. So we just leave them as a baby, and then we customize them when they get older because because why not? So yeah, we'll sort everybody else out later. We're gonna add a character. Because as I said in the last episode, I was I was having this sort of like thought process of like what other families could we include? What other sort of like major sort of like families? And I came to the thought process of the Aftons. And I w and the other one was having Bruce Wayne and the Joker as a couple and then the Robins as the children. More importantly, the one that turned into Joker in the animated movie Batman Beyond which I cannot remember the name of which is going to piss a lot of people off so yeah um, we have this house here now I know I know I know you can't have purple hair in this okay you can have purple hair just not good purple hair yeah um sorry love um, you're going to be a male now it's William Afton so I see a lot of like people's designs for William Afton and the one thing they keep in common is purple and longish hair. We can't do that. So we're gonna have to figure something out. Skin tone. William Afton. Mm. You can tell that I write William Afton so many times because Afton is an actual so like suggestion. Um, mm, this is where the important shit comes in. 
He's not gonna have any hair to wear. This is William after we're talking about here. I mean, come on. What sort of face do you want to give the man? I think I like that face for some reason. Hair. We do have purple hair. It's long. Yeah. We're gonna go through all of these and just be like, hmm, what's the best suggestion? We don't really want to give him a beard. Yes, he looks like a crafty fucker now. No, we'll give him a bit of stubble. Will we? No, we'll give him a bit of stubble. Because it's William Afton we're talking about. Yeah, um, to tell you guys that I can't do the longish hair, um, if I did, it looks weird. Because this looks like 80s hair. And I'm not doing that. Just look at it. It's so bad. This is why we stay with the top hair. I can't remember what hair I chose for the Joker. It was either this one or that one. That's more pinky. We're going with this one. No, I think we're going to go with black and then maybe its outfit is going to be some sort of like incorporated thing. Oh yes, would you like to be... There you go, that's William Afton. Done. <laughs> kidding, kidding. Simp for William Afton over here. Um, I want something purple but mature. This looks like something he would wear. He's a very sort of like office person. Very like mature. He works with fucking animatronics, man. I mean, come on, how mature can you be? And also, that's the only one which has like a proper like vibrant sort of like purple thing. So we're going with that one. But now he always he's oh, he already matches. He already matched so just do a darker pants. Very nice, William, very nice. Now I don't usually wear shoes a lot, so um I don't really have the shoe taste that everyone has, but um Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually that looks kinda of nice. Okay. Okay, we have gotten ourselves should we give him that glasses because he's a cool dude? He is not a cool dude. We are not giving him glasses. <laughs> Fuck off. Um, eyes. Ooh, we can't give him purple eyes. Mm. Oh. Should we give him blue eyes? We'll give him these dark sort of eyes. Because why the fuck not? Yeah, I think we're done here. William Afton is here. And he's going to stay here for as long as I can get him to. Yeah, I gave William quite a big house and... Um, we have a lot of room to play with over here. <laughs> so who wants to make Faz Freddy's Fazbear Pizzeria in the back? <laughs> just like include Sims, just like, yes, you are now Sims. All right. And also this gives us a lot more room to like do shit with, which is good. I say I want to change everything. But I think we're gonna add Clara in next. Oh, look at her, it's so nice. This is why I gave you the posh bit. This is why I gave you the posh bit, Afton. Where are you, you shitter? Where's Afton? There you are. Afton, do you like your home? It doesn't look nice. Oh, it doesn't look good. Okay, we're not gonna change anything yet. Yet. We'll change things in the future. Before now, we need a job for you. I've got the perfect job. We, my friend, William Afton. I, I think I just signed on a police officer. Let's have a look at other things. He will not be a teacher. I completely... Why is the t teacher salary so low? <laughs> why is the teacher salary so low? My question. Um. 
Okay. I'm looking at all of these and I'm just like, hmm, okay. Do you want him as a scientist though? Because technically, technically, he can count as one, kind of. Technically, technicalities here. Um, he can also be a politician because I don't know how he gets away with a lot of things he does. He must have brilliant, he must be a brilliant spokesperson. Hmm. We'll go with a police officer for now. And if I don't like it, fuck you. Simple enough. You're a police officer. I might just change your whole thing because it is disgusting in here. Oh, I hate it. I hate this so much. Can't wait for Clara to come in here so she can rip everything apart. Yeah, once Clara is in, then I will do it. Then I'll change his room thing. Yes, yeah, so you can go and work alone. Because I don't want to deal with you right now. I already have two babies. And I've got one cooking in the oven. So, <laughs> that sounds so bad. But that's what they usually use term-wise. Are you getting me the money? I'm expecting the money. Are you not getting me the money? I want the money. Oh god. Okay, so we've added two new Sims. Mike William Afton and Daniela Dixon. I'm thinking if um, Eden and Alex have any more children, we're just gonna follow off with the official Canon Dixon names because um, I want Daryl to have a little sister and I want Merle to have a little sister. I wonder how would they act with a little sister? We're going with the Walking Dead fandom here. We're pushing the Walking Dead fandom. They're gonna be they're gonna be furious with me. <laughs> oh god. That's always my problem. Anytime I talk about a fandom, I'm just like, that fandom's gonna kill me in my sleep. They're gonna kill me in my sleep. Because in truthful facts, they are. <laughs> they are gonna kill me in my sleep. Because everybody, everybody's very protective of their fan. So when someone does something a bit different to them, they get a bit antsy. <laughs> this is why kids, I don't, I don't. This is why kids, I've kind of drawn off um, certain animes. Because God, the fandom, I hate it. Don't mind the show, but the fandom's kind of made the show worse for me. I'm not talking about any anime in particular, but... If you know the anime, you probably guessed it. Are you done with your sleep? You done with your sleepy? Spend time with your son. What does your son need? Give him cuddles. He needs to be cuddled. I don't care if you're pregnant. You're going to give birth tomorrow. You're going to give birth while I'm in the middle of an exam. <laughs> oh my god, that's terrible. When she's giving birth, we're going to be allowed to like... Um, make some people. <laughs> make some people. We're gonna make toddlers. <laughs> In the next episode of this, um, she will go at birth and we will be making toddlers. Yes. No, 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 no. We're gonna be allowing certain sims to grow into toddlers. More importantly, this dick. And I think we're gonna let Daniela to be a baby for like once. I'm gonna need a picture of like all the babies just like yes they've had babies I can prove this I can prove this because why the hell not <laughs> me every time a conversation happens why the hell not don't worry Isaac tomorrow you're going to be a toddler you're sitting in a toddler chair oh fuck it yeah, I haven't been catching up on this um, thing. Um, she's in her third trimester, and as you can tell, um, she's giving birth tomorrow. Bake a baby shower cake in the oven. Show off the baby bum. Talk to a sim to discuss home births. Are we going to give you a home birth? Write a letter to the future baby from the timing table. Write <laughs> mm -hmm. future baby letter. <clears throat> I that thing, <clears throat> okay, we're gonna talk now. Writing letters to baby always seems like something that would happen in like a show or like just like a normal like 
TV show because I've only seen it happen in like a couple TV shows, not in like real life. But I guess if the circumstances were very dire within the family, then I can see the point to writing a letter to the baby in the future. Because we're gonna get grim here. You don't know if you're gonna live, so. Wait, how can Sims die in this? <laughs> Did I fuck my Sim over? <laughs> Found some friends to see who's coming to the baby shower. Wait, we're throwing a baby shower? Fuck. I didn't expect a baby shower. Yeah, we've got this many, like... Look at the timer. That's how long we have until the baby. So tomorrow at lunchtime, around lunchtime, um, the baby's gonna be born. Which is gonna be fun. But I'm going to be in the middle of an exam, so I won't physically be there. I'll After my exam, I'll check on that, okay? I'll probably film a bit as well. Bake a baby shower cake. You. I cannot do that, okay. Bake baby shower cake. You can bake. Come on. Come on, Luna. You can bake. She's also the only sim that, that is multi-leveled in the cooking thing. And I feel extremely thingy for making her be the top cook in this whole thing. The reason why I make her the top cook is because I have no hobby which is good enough for her. And for some reason, the sims in here can only do one hobby. Because if they try another hobby, it's completely gone. And cooking counts as a hobby and it pisses me off. <laughs> Uh oh, the future. The future of Luna. Yeah. After we're doing this, we're gonna get a nurse immediately. You know, just like a... Just like a babysitter nurse ship. We need one. Because <laughs> these two are both working parents. I mean, Ethan and Alex are both working parents as well. But Jesus... <laughs> These two are working. See, he's learning dark magic. Because he's a demon. I feel like if people, if I said that to people, then they will get very thingy. I'm not, I'm not a thingy, okay? In actual canon universe of my character, Ren, he is a demon. So that's why I made him to teach magic. Because he's gonna need it. <laughs> Also, his father's an asshole. Hmm. <laughs> the more you know about characters. And Luna here is just the everyday Luna. We have Luna Soul and Luna Deaf. I don't know why. There's many Lunas. There's many families. Yeah. I could tell you all about my OCs. I would have, like, a bunch of facts on them. Okay, I will share one fact with each OC. Luna... In her canon universe is half Reaper. Reaper is in Death Reaper. Grim Reaper, yeah. She works for Death. Don't ask. Ran is a demon. He has three older he has three older brothers. He's the youngest of the lot. His dad's a dick, but his mum is lovely. Um <laughs> What other characters? Chi! Chi, 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 chi. Chi's actually like one of my favorite OCs, but she doesn't get much time in this series because I don't really know what to do with her. Chi is a warlock. And once we get the hospital running, she is not going to be a scientist anymore because she's a warlock. I just think scientists or doctors like good thing for either of them. Yeah, in Canvas she's a warlock. Plants. I'm gonna like try and like theme their houses on their actual Canvas at some point. <clears throat> uh, who else? Celeste. Celeste is the Celeste Soul is the sister of Luna, but she's half angel. And that's why she looks all petite and all that. Inspiration from 
Shitters. Inspiration from Shitters. I'm kidding. Supernatural. Eden and Alex. Eden and Alex were actually my first. Okay, not my first. Because my first proper. Mm, wait. I need to think back on how you've seen this. Okay, these two were my second sort of like OC couple, which wasn't fantasy related. These two are just some two normal guys. <laughs> I don't know why. You're adorable. Go to sleep. <laughs> Go to sleep. I'll put your night light on. I'll put your night light on. Mm -hmm. Turn on. There you go. Night lights on. Woohoo. Seems too dark in here. It seems too light in here. Okay. You didn't clean your mess. I'm so disappointed in you. Eden. Eden. You're supposed to be better than this. You're supposed to be better than your husband. I trust you more than your husband. We're going to leave that out because um, his husband finishes work and like, oh, no, his husband finishes work ages ago. A while ago. Okay. Quick rinse. I expect cleanliness. Can I see you? Okay, we're just going to private that. We have two left. Going to be the bell to the death for that. Your stats are great at the moment. I might just make you plant all night. Because I do that with my sims every day, every time of my life. So, it's an option. You good? You good? Good. Okay. I want you to plant some shit. I want you to plant beans. Barb, are you done negotiating? You've done negotiation. You can make beans now. Create all the beans. I like it. I feel like this a lot. I like how I give most of them, like, all the boys, like, all, like, the proper, like, not proper. What the fuck am I saying? All, like, the boys have, like, the same hair. And then there's just Eden. Uh... Aiden, you're not less hot than the rest of these. You're a beautiful baby. So all these are busy doing stuff. So I think that's the end of the episode there. Next episode, there'll be a new baby. And we'll be making toddlers. The fun shit.